what up? Solar Nectar only here, back to some more League of Legends action. We're playing some Olaf. We got some plans here. We got some updates. We're changing some stuff up. We're trying to figure out what the best Olaf build is. I took some of your suggestions from the uh, the last video. A lot of people are saying try uh, Triforce. So I want to try that. And then I still think Death Stance and like Maw and Sterex and Visage, like those are just going to be such amazing items on Olaf. So we're going to try and grab some of them as well. And then we got Conk here. Some of you were suggesting to go uh, Lethal Tempo, which is probably solid. I definitely see it. One thing I was complaining about last time I played him was, because I went Gore Drinker, it just kind of felt underwhelming. It's like awkward to know when to activate Gore Drinker versus your W, because both of them kind of want to be activated at like the same time, but you don't want to activate them at the same time. So it's just weird. And then you don't have any attack speed. Ooh. Nice. Oh, I actually got hit by the tower. Disappointing. Oh, actually, I didn't need to buy this. I was thinking I had Time Warp Tonic. Or, uh, yeah, I said that right. But I have Approaching Velocity, so whenever I hit the Q, I get increased movement speed. Okay, we're not going to talk about that one. <laughs> but yeah, I've been liking this, uh... This buff, and it, and it actually seems like it's really good for top versus jungle. Like his jungle win rate is still like 40 something percent, 48 percent, not 40 something, my god. <laughs> yeah, somewhere in the 40s. <laughs> it's uh, 48 and a half. But his top lane is in the 50s, like, again, like 50, uh, 50 point something, like 50.7, 50.5. So much better on top than he is in jungle, apparently. So, problem with this matchup, we're gonna need the wave to bounce out. So that's what I'm waiting on right now. Once the wave bounces out, then we can actually punish. I see, I see, I see. Is he still come? I gotta move here because yeah. Oh. Fight him! Fight him! I mean, I can kind of let him do his thing, but I can't really follow up. He gets like aftershock and stuff, so it's fine. Ooh. I won't get my Q back for a little bit. Just ward this thing. Walk here. All I need is an auto. That path thing. Did you see the game? What the hell? Why did it move me like that? Was odd. All right. Cause all I did was click on the guy. I was like, all right, it'll just take me the fastest path. And I had Mordekaiser in my memory. You only need to click one summoner. Clearly, I need to click more, Mr. Mordekaiser. Oh, did that Q hit, though? Damn! I'm gonna hug this back while I might Q check this push. Might be able to cheese him. Oh my god, so close, dude. <laughs> this damage is actually wild, though. Ooh. How did I kill him? Didn't I throw the axe, like, over here? Like, I was 100% throwing, I'll be honest, I thought I've missed. I thought the guy was gonna walk this way, thinking I would throw, like, right at him. So I tried to predict it and throw to where he was, or where he would go, which, like I said, I thought would be behind the tower. And somehow it hit. Like, it does have a giant hitbox. Not even, bro. I don't know. I think just the circle at the end, it, like, clipped him or something? I don't know. We'll take it, though. I like it, I like it. So we're going for over here. Grab this, we'll get this. Actually, I could just do boot upgrade there too. Eh. I think I want Tabby. Whole lot of auto attack damage this game. But yeah, if you didn't watch the video the other day on uh, the Olaf rework, just a TLDR, they moved the healing from the passive over to your, uh, or sorry, the healing passively from your W over to your uh, passive. So passive now is 54% attack speed, 15% uh, life steal, but this, both of them scale up. You can get 100% attack speed, 30% life steal. 
once we get high enough level. And we get more based on how much missing health we have. Q, pretty much the same thing. They just, you know, change it a tiny bit. Like minimum range, some mana stuff, cooldown stuff. But overall, it basically functions the same way. Pick up your axe, refund your Q. Minimum it goes down to is three. But then that can be reduced further. And then big other big changes are R. You no longer lose the armor and magic resist passive when you activate it. And every time you auto attack or hit Q, you increase the duration of your ultimate. So technically you could pop your ult in a team fight and have it up forever. As long as you just keep in combat. Think of like Omnivamp proccing on, uh, what's it called, Maw. Actually it doesn't work that way, does it? If you just stay in combat, you keep it up. Uh, see, like that's what I was trying to do over here. <laughs> like, just, somehow got the got it still. Oh my god, didn't auto. <laughs> cool. Take that. Ooh. I'll be taking that as well. And again, we probably just want this wave shoving out to me. So what I want to do is actually keep it over here. Hmm. Gonna hide just in case it's me. It's obviously not. Alright, so this wave shoves out. So all I gotta do is chill. Once it gets overextended, then I can look to fight the guy. Or just deny farm. Again, just denied farm the whole time. I lost none. It's got my leave here. No? Okay. Not too bad. So we trimmed the wave just a little bit. Now we're looking to, to do... Blah, 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 blah. Try that again. We trimmed the wave a little bit. Now we're looking to deny. So zone them away from any of the minions that are about to die. It's the plan here. The magic number is four. That's how many extra you need to just keep the wave pushing to you the whole time. It would be smart for him to just like hide in this bush right here so he stays in range, gets EXP. I should probably check it just to make sure. All right, looks like he actually reset. So again, want to trim down to four. Ideally, it's four range minions. Melee minions are stupid. They just run around and do dumb stuff and screw up your wave. The range ones are way easier to manage because you can just go over here like this. I just target you, cancel, target you, cancel. Pretty easy. So my whole setup here is I'm just trying to wait and this guy's gonna come back. I freeze the wave on my side of the map, overextends, I kill. That is the plan. He does have bone plating, so I kinda wanna hit. Nice. Ooh. What happened there? Is he actually stuck? I think he was stuck in that. How big is the W shield gonna be, huh? <laughs> yeah, that was odd. Nice. Eat him. So what happened with Sejuani? Did I think she actually got like stuck in the wall. And she wasn't moving at all. She wasn't CC'd. Cause I got hit by the uh What's it called? Uh, I mean, I guess, it doesn't matter. I got hit by the Nocturne Fear, and that's the only CC that, the hard CC that they have. He has no ultimate. Yeah. I mean. If you have no ultimate, what are you going to do? <laughs> Help me! Oh. Man, I still have W. My W is juicy when I'm low. Yeah, mids am I? Probably should chill. Oh, well, hello there, buddy. Um, I've ulted like five. Cool. 
Might be greedy. <laughs> you know me. Always greedy. Nice. There's a ward in this bush. Time to go. I have so much gold here. Let's go get our Triforce real fast. Alright. So Triforce Death Stance. So follow it up over here. Definitely going to get the boot upgrade. Two longs. I like it. Not bad. So what's our damage? 209. So like a Q auto attack and then we pick up the Q again. Like we can, we have such low cooldowns here. Essentially every 1.5 seconds we're going to do this proc. As long as we're auto attacking. Crazy. And the proc scales once we're hitting a bunch. Because we get our extra attack damage. Four right now per stack. Five stacks, 21. That's for sure not how that math works out, but okay. <laughs> I love the movement speed too. Yeah, the move the attack speed actually feels really nice too. The movement speed and the attack speed. Then you obviously have uh, this attack speed. Someone said I could see this a different way, but I still don't know how. You used to like hover this, and that's how you could see how much, you know, you did like the attack damage rune or health rune or whatever. Noise. Ooh. Hell yeah. Second point in ultimate. Gain 62 attack damage, bro. And then, like I said, that stays up. Okay. It stays up as long as we're hitting. So hitting a champion with an attack or reckless swing. Oh, no, no. It's our E. Why did I think it was our Q? Okay. Uh, autos or E. And you extend the duration by uh, 2.5 seconds. Crazy. Woo! Sniping him. 200 damage a hit. We'll take it. Boom. Look for E here. Love it. Pop a potion. Walk away. Whew! Dude, we are destroying him with just Qs. Be better if we could pick them up, but I don't want to overextend. Ooh. Oh, the jungle spot too. I think I want to go for that top tower right now and get a ward here. It's pretty low, man. And the jungle is still bought. Push, 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 push. I don't care. This is up. I can grab this too. I just want to stay as strong as I can. <laughs> I'm so fast. Holy shit. <laughs> Man, this champ is fun as hell, dude. God damn. Zooming, bro. I love it. Yeah, that's the other thing. I went like Flash Ignite. Ghost is way better. Dope. I'm gonna get this wave, obviously. Man, everybody's loving that bone plating. Sir? Excuse me, sir. Oh, I keep missing. Oh, I'm gonna die now. Yeah. If I had W for right after that, maybe I could win. I did that so dumb. All because I missed that one Q. You didn't even win wallet. Oof. And, ooh, can I sell this? Super close. By the time I'm alive, I'll have it. I like it. Yo, we're destroying and farm. This guy's way fed though. There you go. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> it was so slow. That's weird. Oh, this one was there. Not a big deal. Careful, bro. Ooh. Aw. Not enough. Close though. 
Let me go cover mid real fast. Or up top. Got a huge CS gap on this guy. He scales really hard though. So be a little careful about that. Oh nice. Chill got stack. Two minutes on dragon. I'm pretty strong though. It's actually so annoying that the axe doesn't kill the wave. <laughs> it's like 1 HP. I'm gonna walk in here. See if I find their jungle. Nope. Back to mid we go. Ooh. Well, hello there. I'll ward up here. I don't know who that was. I honestly didn't see. I'm getting too old. I wonder if I go top and try and kill that guy. Three sixty on E, bro. Ooh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Here cubs. He's gonna walk this way, isn't he? Yep. Can I catch you with R? Kite away, pop this. Cool, we'll take that all day. Force three top and I get one. Fine with that. Yeah, pressing the W a little too fast. I mean, I'm getting the attack speed off of it, but I don't get any value on the... Oh yeah, and it's an auto attack reset. I forgot. I keep forgetting that, man. That's so good, I need to use it that way. Dragon in 40. Cool. Oops. Oh, Destiny's. Come on, man, let me back, please! Uh, probably not Ma here. I mean, my plan was Ma or oh, Sterex, duh. I was gonna say. Alright, cool. Let's get over here. ASAP. Ooh. I'd be careful. They obviously. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, we wanna play for the dragon, not fighting him. I'm moving. You can always drop the pink here. And then I zone. Nice. Now it's either walk up here and try and find something, because they might be right here. Aw. How about that for a timing, bro? Almost insane. Okay, I, I right click, I press E when it's up, everybody dies. It's weird, it's almost like doing 400 true damage with your E on like a 3 second cooldown because you auto twice is a little OP, I don't know, I, I don't know, I don't, it's probably balanced, it's probably balanced. Do you want to fight bro? I mean I'm down. <laughs> like, <laughs> I am very much down. It can be my unofficial Penta. Holy. Yeah, dude, the Death Stance heal there was actually wild, though. <laughs> oh. oh, dang. I got destroyed. Let's go for this. No. Ooh. Why, hello there, bud. That shit is so annoying. Come on, man! I'm just running around. It's like whack-a-mole. They're the moles, and E is the the mallet. <laughs> they just keep popping up. Boop, E. Boop, E. 
boop, E. <laughs> and the E hits for like a fourth of their health, dude. Like, look at this guy. He's got 1,300 health. My E's doing 400 damage. I press E three times, he's dead. Like, hello? How do you game burst that? Crazy. They all might cover me and we could get a Baron potentially. Get wards down. See what this guy does, that's the main thing. Oh, it gets blocked by the wall! I didn't even think of that! Oh, that's such a cool thing. Because the, uh... Yeah, it's actually really good that doing Baron, because they're all coming to cover me. Yeah, great call. Good job, good job. That's a pretty good insight, though. Because they, they increased your Q minimum distance. So instead of like 350, it's like... Or 325. 300? It used to be 300, I think. And now it's 425. I might have those numbers messed up. I think it's right. Alright, I want to grab a, this. And then I'm probably just going into Black Cleaver. Because I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Oh yeah, there's 30% armor shred on this thing. Whoa, what the heck is this? I mean, I want to push bot, but I'm nervous that they're going to get in a bad fight. Run, run. Thing is, this guy is so chunky. Especially with that passive being up. Ooh, okay. And they're wasting all their stuff to save Lulu, man. It's not even going to matter. Kobe! Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Jesus. Now my R is giving me 115. 115 extra attack damage. Okay. I mean... Hey, Riot gives me the champions. I'm just gonna play them, alright? What in the hell, dude? Told you the best Olaf build? Yeah, dude. Triforce is a lot better. I think the main thing, the huge thing with Triforce is I hit Q and then think of how you play, right? You throw the Q at them and then you run up. Like you're guaranteed to hit the Triforce proc on that first auto after. But how many times are you throwing that Q and picking it up and like autoing right after? Like over and over and over. So like the uptime value on like the thing, the the effect is so high. And then during the fights themselves where our E is being reduced by our auto attack. So we're constantly hitting our E over and over again. So either we're Qing or we're Eing. And we're essentially using our Triforce proc every 1.5 seconds, and it's just kind of pretty good. Pretty good. Honestly, y'all played well. Y'all played good. We'll take it. Best friends forever? Yes. I don't know what any of these are. They seem cool, man, but... <laughs> I got shit going on, dude. <laughs> Come on now. Look at that damage, man. Yeah, Olaf's okay. Reasonable. Strong! I love it. GG Well Played. Hope you enjoyed that one. If you're watching over on the YouTube, make sure to like the video, subscribe for more content. If you think this build is doo-doo and you know what the real, the true Olaf build is, the number one Olaf build, let me know then, all right? So I'm, I'm open. I'm open for change, okay? I like it. GG Well Played. Thanks for watching. Make sure to tune in next time. Peace.